Yes, we're back. We're back again in Forza Horizon 4. We're back again in a trusty little Morris Minor. And yeah, after comments I got from the last video, uh, the decision I think has been made to leave it as a sleeper. So yeah, I think we're going to continue rating it. We're going to continue upgrading it. But from the outside, it's going to look completely stock. So at the moment, I've done nothing to it. So let's uh, make our way up here so that we can check back into the house. So let's do that. But first, if you're new to my videos, welcome. Uh, Forza Horizon 4 seems to be a regular thing now on uh, Forza Thursday, uh, where we are taking this standard stock Morris Miner and we're going to go racing in it. So let's get doing that then. Let's do some upgrades and then let's do some racing. Grab that guidebook to Morris Minor Racing and let's go. Right then, let's get to it. Um, remember how to do it? Garage. Upgrades custom upgrade right because we're going to do this thing one stage at a time uh, I'm thinking first of all um, we'll do drivetrain and wheels we're not going to do an engine swap just yet anyway so we'll go to all wheel drive because we might be taking this thing rallying and then uh, we'll upgrade the wheels tyres so tyre compound we'll go um we want to try and keep it as a D if we can. Uh, wow. No, that's going to make it look a bit... We'll go rally tyres. We'll put rally tyres on it. And then we'll upgrade the width. So it'll look stock. Side on anyway. But we're going to go with a bit of extra width. So we've got wider tyres. And we've got four wheel drive. Let's see if that's going to make a difference. We won't do anything else to it. Um, yeah, I might even look and see what else we can do to it. Because that's going to be something that we'll do. So we've gone from, well, peak power is still 37 horsepower. We've added weight, uh, but we've improved grip. Yeah, so it's going to get slower, is uh, basically what we're saying. This is going to be interesting then. Right, so now we'll go and find a race. So four-wheel drive and um, better tyres. Yeah, but um, less power. So it's not going to be any quicker. But we're in spring now. And I haven't done spring before. So... Let's have a look at the roadmap then. Uh, what have we got that I haven't done? Uh, there's one there. Foothills Scramble. Let's go and do that, shall we? So yeah, last time I raced, it was in winter. We've now got spring. So it could be this if this um, continues to be uh, enjoyable from your point of view that when we do peek this thing out which there's quite a bit we can do to it if I just do a couple of things at a time it's going to take a little while like now we've got four wheel drive I think next time we'll do brakes and um, uh, clutch etc before we start adding improvements with power I don't want to go straight and do an engine swap because I think that is just ridiculous power. See, so yeah, the comments I got were to do. Uh, There's another abandoned car rumor, but I'm up to my neck putting together the spring seasonals. You can go have a look for me, could you? Yeah, that's one for me for later. Um, yeah, leaving it stock. I really like the idea of that. So from the outside, it's just a Morris Minor. 
with a whole 37 horsepower. It will be nice when we get a bit of power in this. So I think next, certainly, um, clutch and um, or brakes. I think clutch will probably be better off coming with a gearbox. You have arrived at your destination. Right, foothill scramble. In a Morris Minor. Yeah, with 37 horsepower. It does look kind of cool. Oh, it's raining. And we're up against a Reliant. There's a Morris Traveller in front. Well, the four-wheel drive could be advantageous here. Oh my good god. Um, well, I didn't expect it to lean. Yeah, I didn't realise the leaning was going to be a thing. We're in spring, so we got rid of the snow. Got a bit of mud and stuff around now. Let's take a little while to catch these. If indeed I can catch those. Yeah, in theory, this thing's got heavier. So I did four-wheel drive in. Well, I don't know. I think we're in with a chance here. What else fails? It's them. So this thing should do better in the winter when we get back round to winter. Come on, we can do it. Yay! Actually quite a long lap. And handling wise, it's not that bad. Well, we've got rally tyres on it. Once we do get uh, brakes done, it'll brake a bit easier. Yeah. 
a decent exhaust. I've actually put an exhaust on anything yet. I don't think we should do an engine swap. I think we should um, see what we can get out of this thing. As far as power is concerned. They're not far behind me. One mistake and they're going to overtake. It definitely hasn't got the pull, has it, in that third gear? That's a bit sluggish. It's not bad. It's not as bad as I thought it was going to be. I thought we might have lost a little bit of power because of the extra weight we put in. But we're doing okay. We are putting away from them. Like the way that uh, the car stays wet for a little bit that is really cool am I about to lap someone I think I might be actually. It's a little peel, I think. Head. I'm catching head up. Sorry, head. I just lapped you. Brakes aren't actually that bad, so we're not going that quick, but I think brakes isn't certainly the next thing to do. Maybe brakes and lightness, a bit of weight reduction next time before we then uh, look at uh, gearbox and clutch, and then we'll start looking at uh, engine improvements. So yeah, we'll do that. Next time we'll be... Uh, brakes and lightness then we'll do gearbox and clutch and then we'll start tweaking the engine I'm catching up on Sam nearly lapped you Sam in fact I did I beat Liam I beat Larwood, I beat Rob, uh, I beat Sam, I beat Ed, uh, I beat Gaz, uh, everybody basically from my Discord server and Tux, beat the lot of you. You just haven't got it, have you? I get a spin as well. Oh, it's Rocco. Very nice. And back to the map we go. Right, 
let's get ourselves uh, back to the house then. Uh, there we go. when it is safe to do so. So yeah, it didn't handle that badly. It was okay, in fact. A bit of weight reduction. And some brakes will certainly make it go a bit better. In 400 meters, turn right. So we'll do that next time. And see, if we, right. and see if we can get this thing um, handling a bit better. Well, that should make it go a bit quicker without doing anything. But we leave it with the standard gearbox and we won't do anything to the engine. Because it goes okay, I think. So it's looking nice being in... Uh, Oh my good god, uh, being in spring. Yeah, I'm liking it. I'm just spending. Uh, quite a considerable amount of time playing this uh, last weekend because I wasn't well. I haven't really played it at all this week. So I really need to do it a bit more. There we go. We have arrived. Back to Lake Lodge we go. And that is where I'll leave that there. We will um, carry on from here next time. If you're enjoying the series, um, then yeah, do give the video a thumbs up. Uh, leave some comments below. Um, so I think, yes, leaving it, um, leaving it stock is certainly the way to go. Next time we will do... Um, as I say, uh, brakes and weight reduction. Uh, and then after that, we'll go on to um, gearbox before we start doing some engine mods. Uh, I think it's going to be a great, great bit of fun. Um, and yeah, really enjoying it. So the next couple of videos will probably be in spring and then move on to uh, to summer. And before we get this thing ramped up with power, it's going to be great. Don't forget to check out my other content. Um, it's not all about racing. On a Monday is OMSI, the bus simulator. Uh, on a Wednesday is train sim. And on a Friday is either a tourist bus sim or firm bus. And as well as other videos like this occasionally chucked in in between. Um, but yeah, this is going to be on uh, Forza Thursday uh, for the next few weeks anyway, while we carry on with this series. And don't forget, I'm live on Twitch every Friday and Saturday night. Friday night doing something single player. Saturday night uh, doing some Euro trucking uh, in multiplayer. So check those out as well. And as always, check out the Discord server, a link to which I'll leave in the description below. Until the next time then, if you have been, thanks very, very much for watching.